In this video, I want to share with you an easier and a much more affordable way to access and use Flux from pretty much any device, along with a bunch of other powerful features, including the ability to change facial expressions on your images. I will also show you which AI tool I use to turn my Flux images into videos. To get started, head over to openart.ai. Once logged in, you will access a variety of AI tools directly on the homepage. Today, we will focus on generating images with Flux. So to do that, go to create image. And this page is your playground for image generation. On the left side menu, you will find settings, including specific styles that you can use to guide the final look of your image. And there are so many styles available to choose from. Below that, you can choose the AI model by default this is set to open art SDXL, but you can select from various other models. Now, by the time this video is out, you should see two Flux versions, Schnell and Dev. The main difference is that the Dev version delivers higher quality results, while Schnell runs faster, but sacrifices some quality. I will use Schnell for this demo, but I will show you examples of the Dev version outputs later in the video. In the prompt box, describe the image that you wanna generate. Now notice the enhanced prompt button here, if you click on it, it will reveal three options. Quick Enhance adds keywords to improve your output. It's great for expanding on minimal prompts and it can also give you prompt ideas. But keep in mind, this feature is not optimized for Flux. Customized Prompt offers color schemes and styles to guide your image generation. And Image to Prompt lets you upload an image to automatically generate a prompt, which you can then refine to suit your needs. In Advanced Settings, you will find the Steps value. Higher steps generally mean better better quality but slower generation. I'm gonna go with 5 for this demo but you can go higher if you want. Below you can adjust the aspect ratio, width and height of your image. You can choose how many images you want to generate with these settings and then click on create. The first thing you will notice is how fast open art generates images using Flux. This one took less than 2 seconds. To give you perspective, generating the same image with the same settings on my computer took about 14 seconds. It's really fast, possibly the fastest online option available. It makes you wonder if it's really using Flux in the background until you see the quality of the generated image. Now the real test for Flux is generating images with text on them. So let's try a new prompt to generate a cover for a children's book and click create. Now look at that, it generated exactly what I asked. The text matches my prompt word for word and the overall design quality is really good. And I've tested various image types such as interiors, macro shots, portraits and more. Now if you decide to use one of OpenArt's non-flux models, you unlock the image guidance setting which I consider to be a secret weapon. Here you can use input images to guide your output's aesthetic style, match a certain composition or even use control net to match the structure of a certain subject. By the way, you can generate and access your creations directly on your phone using open art. The mobile interface is well designed, intuitive, and gives you access to all open art features. I know many of you are constantly looking for ways to create entirely on mobile, so this is great news. Every image you generate using Flux Schnell on open art costs just one credit. Let's look at the membership options. The free plan gives you 40 credits to try all available features. I'm using the hobbyist plan that comes with 15,000 credits. There is also the pro membership that comes with unlimited credits. Open Art offers a huge discount on annual subscriptions. And as an added bonus, you can use the code MDMZ20 to get 20% off any purchase you make on Open Art. Now, before we discuss other cool features on Open Art, let me quickly show you what happens when using the dev version. Start by writing a prompt and let's generate an image using this, you will notice that it's almost as fast as Schnell. But to get the best out of Flux Dev, try increasing the steps value. Here you can go beyond 12. I prefer to increase it to around 25 and let's give it a shot. As you can see, more elements have been introduced into the image and it looks far more appealing overall. I've tested various types of images and I can say that if you're looking to enhance your outputs, it's better to use the dev version. If you want to learn more about using Flux Dev and getting the best results, Open Art has an excellent video and I will link it in the description box below. And if for some reason you're not fully satisfied with your Flux generation's quality, try the ultimate upscale feature. 
It offers different modes, precise upscale, enhances the image and increases resolution without major changes. As you can see, the upscaled image looks sharper and overall better in quality. While Creative Upscale lets you adjust the enhancement level for more creative or subtle results, you can also write an optional prompt to further describe the output. This mode not only improves the quality, but also slightly alters the image, which gives you some creative possibilities. You can also use this feature to upscale images that you have on your computer, which expands its use cases. And now let me show you how to creatively use your flux generations on OpenArt. Simply open an image. At the top, you will see several editing tools. InPaint lets you add new elements and you can use expand to extend your image seamlessly. Stylize simply lets you transform the style of your image, but the coolest feature in my opinion is the facial expression changer, so let's try it out. On the right, you will find settings to adjust the person's expression. You can choose from presets. For example, let's try to make the subject wink. And just like that, we have the same character in the same environment, but with a different expression on their face. Now let's try a surprised look. Now, how cool is that? I love this feature because you can also manually adjust expressions. You can even change the head's direction, gaze, and eye openness. This is very useful when your initial generation doesn't quite match the expressions that you described in your prompt or when you simply want to show different emotions on the same character. What makes this feature even more powerful is its ability to adjust facial expressions on real images. Here's my profile picture, for example. I can make myself wink frown, shut my eyes, and you can do this with pretty much any image that has a face on it. OpenArt also offers a cool sketch to image feature. You can draw a sketch and upload it to OpenArt, describe your desired output, adjust the creativity slider. You can also choose a style, color scheme, or reference image, and the AI will render your sketch into an artistic piece. Another feature that I really like is image to 3D. You can use it to quickly create a 3D model from a single image input. These are GLB files, which you can download and then open in a 3D software such as Blender. And now let me show you the tool that I use to turn flux generations into videos. There are many options out there and I've made a video comparing the top three tools but here is a little secret. Luma Labs Dream Machine is the most affordable out of all three. Simply upload your generated image, add a prompt describing any kind of camera motion, subject movement or additional elements you want to see in the scene and then click here to start generating. In just minutes you will have a video version of your image and as you can see the physics, camera movement, facial expressions and lighting look remarkably realistic and everything stayed consistent throughout the video. By combining this with open art tools like sketch to image you can produce entire films and animations right from your desk. With that said, stay creative. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.